Hi, I'm Jonathan Kohler. I'm a pediatric surgeon, and today I'm here to talk to you about belly buttons. About 20% of babies are born with a hole in the wall of the abdomen where the umbilical cord comes out. As you know, this hole is what we call an umbilical hernia. The skin over the hole can get stretched out, giving umbilical hernias their classic outie look. But it's the hole, not the skin, that matters. Even a lot of stretched out skin, like an elephant trunk, hasn't been shown to mean the hernia won't close on its own. Complications from umbilical hernias are extremely rare, like one in 10,000 or so. In kids, the biggest concern is incarceration of the intestines or omentum through the umbilical hernia hole. But again, it almost never happens. What does happen in about nine of every 10 children is that the hole closes on its own by the time a child is four or five. People have tried to figure out how to predict which hernias will close and which will not. It turns out no one really has figured that out yet. Even when a hernia is big at birth or has a lot of overlying skin, the hernia can still close by itself. What that means is that children who get their hernias repaired before age four or five may be having unnecessary operations for a problem that will likely fix itself and almost certainly won't cause a complication. That exposes these kids to the risks of surgery. Those risks are definitely low, but as you well know, they are not zero. And there are other risks. For instance, even though most kids shouldn't need opioids after umbilical hernia repair, about half of kids who have an umbilical hernia repair fill a prescription for opioid pain medication. And about 6% of those kids fill a second prescription. So does that mean that kids are getting their hernias repaired when they're four or five? Well, yes and no. We don't have data for every state, but if you look at Florida and New York, the answer is mostly. But if you look at a state like Wisconsin, you can see that lots of kids are still getting umbilical hernias repaired at very young ages. One of the reasons for this is that until recently, there was no official guideline for pediatric umbilical hernia repair. But now there is. The American Academy of Pediatrics Section on Surgery and the Choosing Wisely campaign have issued a guideline for care. Here's what it says. Avoid referring most children with umbilical hernias to a pediatric surgeon until around age four to five years. It's not enough for surgeons to be gatekeepers when a child is sent to your office to talk about an operation. We need primary care providers to help us counsel patients and parents that it's safe to wait. But all of us, parents, PCPs, and surgeons, need to work together to make sure kids get the care they need and don't get operations that aren't necessary. Now, let's say you have a four to five year old patient who has a hernia that the parents want to have repaired. Let's talk about some best practices for umbilical hernia repair. I make an incision right through the middle of the umbilicus, but some surgeons go below. Either way, you wanna get all the way around the hernia and have a rim of healthy fascia, not sac, to sew together. I usually close the hernia with one or two figure of eight micro sutures, but there are lots of ways to close the fascia, obviously. The important thing is to use an absorbable suture and to never use mesh. In a child, well, they grow and the mesh doesn't. Tacking redundant skin to the fascia with an absorbable suture can help with appearance and remodeling, but beyond that, the belly button should flatten out over a year or so, so no need for complex umbilicoplasties. Use local anesthetic, acetaminophen and ibuprofen, and maybe an ice pack at home. Most kids do not need opioids for this operation. Thanks so much for joining me today. You can find more information in the links below.